It's an eyesore. If you've been to Las Cruces, you've probably seen it. Stolen shopping carts, and the people taking them aren't using them for groceries. It does make Las Cruces look very unattractive. That's Jerry Silva, the owner of local grocery store Save Mart. One person would have like five, seven baskets with all this garbage and trash. That looks really nasty. In an effort to curb the problem, Silva is taking matters into his own hands, locking his carts up inside of his store at night. And during business hours, his employees will walk the cart out for his customers and load the groceries into their car, then walk his carts right back inside where they belong. Just a, uh, a service that we've provided and it stayed with us and it's something we're gonna definitely keep. And it does help as far as keeping our shopping carts because I can't afford to have these shopping carts. They're about $175 to replace. At the end of April, Las Cruces Police Chief Jeremy Story took a modified shopping cart ordinance to city council that aims to tackle the stolen shopping cart problem. This comes as the original ordinance he presented back in August got rejected. At the most recent city council meeting on April 29th, Story presented data from April 23rd, where his department's community outreach program gathered 162 stolen shopping carts over the span of two hours on that day alone, totaling out to a value of $32,000. The ordinance would require business owners to submit a shopping cart plan to be approved by community development, have three business days to retrieve shopping carts if notified by the city, and businesses could also face a fine between $100 to $500 if they don't enforce the requirements being asked of them. Obviously, they can't control um, someone stealing a cart entirely but they can take certain measures to help reduce the likelihood of someone stealing a cart. And that reduces the number of abandoned carts and trash and debris that we have associated with it in the communities. For Silva, while he says as a business owner, he backs Chief Story on his efforts, he's unsure about the fine. I mean, we have to be responsible to some extent. Uh, extent. But Story says the end goal is to come together to fix the problem and work as a team. It's really just some mechanisms for them to help us help them. We definitely back Chief Story on this, the, uh, this ordinance. We, um, you see all these shopping carts all over the place. It does cause a lot of damage. And there was not a vote taken on the ordinance, as this was just a presentation that was up for discussion at the end of April. A vote, though, will be taken at an upcoming meeting, as the ordinance did have enough support to push forward. You can count on us to keep you updated on the specific ordinance and whether it gets approved both on air and online at kfoxtv.com.